Let's install custom firmware on this original DS. We're going to use the flash me method with the guide found on Gamebrew, as well as this one backed up on Web Archive. You'll need either an original DS or a DS Lite, an R4 card, a screwdriver, a 40 Phillips bit to remove the battery cover, and a flathead bit that's small enough to fit into a compartment that I'll show you here shortly, as well as some electrical tape or scotch tape and a pair of scissors. First, we'll take the micro SD card out of the R4 card and we'll plug it into the computer. Next, at the link in the video description, we're going to grab this version of flash me, and inside of the flash me folder, we're going to see this uh, flashme.nds, which we're going to extract to the SD card. Then we'll put the SD back inside the R4 card, and we're going to prep our Phillips bit. We're going to unscrew this screw and remove the battery cover, and then we're going to plug our DS into power while also making sure that the battery is fully charged. If you're using a DS Lite, this is where the uh, point's going to be on yours. Mine's going to be right here at the top. And the point's going to be to uh, bridge these two points with a piece of metal. That way we can start the flashing process. Then we're going to prep our flathead bed here, which I need to insulate. Using electrical tape, I insulated all but the very tip of the uh, bit here. And to ensure the battery doesn't fall out, I'm going to go ahead and put a couple pieces of electrical tape uh, across it. And with the R4 end and the pin exposed, we're going to open up the FlashMe NDS. With FlashMe open, we're going to take note of this warning here at the top, and we're going to put in the requested button combo. And once you see this progress bar here, that's when we're going to take our uh, screwdriver and we're going to very carefully flip over the DS, and we're going to be inserting this uh, to the point where it bridges those two connections, and we're going to hold it for about 30 seconds. As a reminder, this is a risky process. If something goes wrong, you could very easily break your system. So... Oh! <laughs> I might have just bricked it. So I did end up breaking the system here, but there actually is a failsafe that uh, is built into where we can save it. So I'm going to hold start and select, and I'm going to press the power button, which is going to cause it to boot directly into the flashcard, and we're going to start the process again. And that's funny, it actually remembers where it left off, so uh, you can see that it did move. I'm going to go ahead and do this a little more carefully. I'm not going to try to flip it over, I'm just going to listen to the sounds that it's making to know that it's uh, flashing it. And there we go, it was able to successfully flash the system, so I'm going to go ahead and reboot it now. And if we power on the system, it's actually going to go straight into the menu without all the uh, health and safety warnings. And now if you have a slot 2 flash card, you're able to run a NDS homebrew off of there, as well as if you have a DS Lite, uh, you'll have unlocked brightness settings. But if you found value in this, don't forget to like, follow, share, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.